Home Services. My everyday hero was just that to so many, except maybe Rob Fowler, because this guy gave his Green Bay Packers fits. Yes, it does. So I recently sat down with Robert Porsche, who has been out of the NFL longer than he was in it, being an all pro, just one chapter in his life. Father, businessman, friend and mentor, also part of that story. A story that has come full circle with Robert back where he started here in the Low Country. Actually, uh, I think I miss most the uh, camaraderie of the locker room. You know, just being in there with the guys. And Robert Porsche was with those guys, the Detroit Lions, a team owned by the Ford family for over a decade. Ford employees that worked at the plants, and they would say they work for Ford. Mm -hmm. And I was like, you know what, I, I work for Ford too. And they'd be like, um, which plant Which plant are you in? Are you in the Rouge plant? Are you in which? I said, no, I'm not, I'm not but I, I work for Ford. So then they, they would always say, man, you... you you're pretty big. Are you on assembly line? I was like, I'm on the line. <laughs> a six foot three, 275 pound defensive end who offenses feared. Porsche set a team record with over 95 sacks in his career, a three time first team all pro. Porsche made such an impact in Detroit, the Lions' annual Man of the Year award is named after him. I was definitely humbled and very proud of that. And, um, you know, it's something. I had to earn it. Porsche earned it here in the Low Country. Born in Wando, played high school football for Wando and Canehoy, transferred to South Carolina State from Tennessee State, where he played for legendary head coach Willie Jeffries, and says Jeffries taught him so much more than just football. Yeah, I talk to him all the time, man. That's my guy. One thing about him I always admired, no matter how busy he was, when somebody came up to him, he always made them feel like he had been waiting all day just to talk to them. And, uh, you know, he just never lost who he was. And while so many pro athletes lose themselves and their money after their playing days, not Robert. He was still playing when he began thinking about life after football. There have been ups and downs, success and failures, but he has always felt the need to help others. He's part of a foundation for cancer research, a fund to help people in Detroit stay warm during the winter months, just to name a few. Porsche says you can thank his parents for his tremendous contributions to the community. Have you always felt that responsibility Absolutely. to be a part of the community and Absolutely. help others? Yes, that's just that's just who I am. That's just, you know, my parents, I, I think they did a good job of instilling that in, in us. But, you know, me, I'm the older, so I, um, I definitely can't take all the credit for it. It's just that once I kind of got there and had that platform, it just kind of evolves, and uh, you know, I'll I'll be doing some things down here too, because I'm now I'm back here too. Never one to slow down. Heck, he still looks like he could terrorize quarterbacks. Porsche is an investor in the Matador, a Mexican restaurant downtown. He started a trucking company in the upstate, PM Logistics, and has a dump truck business here in the Low Country. In fact. Porsche and his company found this trailer and along with help from others at SC State, wrapped it, named it Diesel, and it is now being used as the football team's equipment truck. He's doing so many things in this area, it only made sense he moved back to Charleston, which he did recently. Porsche says he wanted to be close to his parents. I wanted to keep an eye on my parents too. They're, you know, they're moving around good, but you know, it's, I want to be a little bit closer to them. My mom is you know, really happy about moving back because I'm 54 now and I left home when I was 18 so she's excited about that. Through it all, the sacks and success, family, the most important part of Porsche's life, three children, two daughters and a son. At 54 years old, he says their happiness, a direct reflection of his success. No one has ever asked me how do you gauge success. You know what, I don't, I, I look at, I think I look at it more so on how my children turn out. You know, what, what, what kind of people are they? Um, they're all young adults. Um, I always get good reports about them when they're around other people and, you know, their friends. I think that's a testament to being successful. Man, I could have talked to him all day long. Porsche, also a big reason the International African American Museum was built here in Charleston, a major donor. And now that he is a Charleston resident, once again, you may see him down at the Matador on any given night. And I promise he'll be much nicer to you than he was to quarterbacks. You can email me at bclark at wcbd.com if you have an everyday hero, or just hit the everyday heroes link on our website, countonto.com.